Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Kitani and today I'm presenting Falcon, a low latency network accelerated scheduler for data analytics. This work has been done with the collaboration of Sriharsha Adaya Shankar, Ashraf Abdelhadi, Robin Grossman and supervised by Professor Samuel Kiswani. Modern compute clusters consist of thousands of nodes, performing millions of operations per second. In order to be able to efficiently utilize all of these resources, there are some challenges. These clusters require a scheduler that is accurate, scalable, and low overhead. Centralized schedulers are one of the main designs in which there is one scheduler in the cluster. This scheduler deals both with cluster monitoring as well as scheduling. All clients submit tasks to the scheduler. The advantage of this design is that since there is only one scheduler, it has a complete cluster status information, which leads to accurate scheduling decisions. However, the problem with this design is that it does not scale and it tends to have a higher scheduling overhead because the single scheduler tends to become the bottleneck. In order to overcome these issues, researchers proposed a design which, is, which has distributed schedulers. In this design, there are multiple schedulers and clients could connect to any of these schedulers. And whenever a client submits tasks to the schedulers, the scheduler would uh, set probe only a sample of the worker nodes and would choose the best worker based on that sample. The advantages of this design is that it can scale to thousands of nodes and it tends to have lower scheduling overhead because there is no single bottleneck. However, the problem here is that because there is no uh, full cluster status information in any of the schedulers, it tends to have poor scheduling decisions. As you can see, there is a trade off. If we are interested in scheduling performance, Distributed schedulers tend to, have, tend to be much better than centralized ones. And if we are interested in accuracy, centralized schedulers tend to be much better than distributed ones. And the question here is, can we design a scheduler that is high performant and accurate? Well, this is the focus of this paper. In this paper, we present what we call network accelerated scheduling. It has a centralized scheduler, hence accurate scheduling decisions and it overcome the bottleneck of a centralized scheduler by network accelerating it. We chose a switch as a network accelerator because modern switches are programmable and they can process billions of packets per second. In this presentation, I will start by talking about some challenges in programmable switches. I will talk about Falcon, its design and evaluation, and then I will conclude. As you know, programmable switches need to process billions of packets at line rate which means that there are some challenges. For example, they do not support loops or recursion, and they have a restricted pipeline-based programming model with a limited number of pipeline stages. It has limited computational power and a restricted memory access model, meaning that each memory unit could only be accessed once per packet. And the question here is, can we utilize programmable switches despite these challenges to build a network accelerated scheduler? Before I start, let me talk about real-time data analytics. These workloads typically have short tasks that take tens of milliseconds to finish. Examples of these workloads are real-time fraud detection and user-facing data analytics and many others. In these workloads, clients submit small batches of tasks. There are some requirements for the scheduler in these clusters. A scheduler needs to be accurate in order to, be, to, to scale to a huge number of worker nodes and it needs to have a low scheduling overhead because it's a real-time workload and even a couple of milliseconds of added overhead is unacceptable. And the scheduler needs to be accurate. We present Falcon. Falcon is a network accelerated scheduler for data analytics. It has a centralized scheduler which stores all submitted tasks and whenever there's a free worker, it will retrieve tasks from the switch. The way this works is we have a set of worker nodes and a centralized switch, to which clients submit tasks to. The switch will uh, store these tasks in its internal data structure, which is what we call task queue. And whenever there is a free worker, it will retrieve tasks from the queue. And then the switch will give that worker that task to execute. But even this simple design is complicated to implement on programmable switches. In, this, in the next slides, I will show you how we implemented the tasks queue in Falcon. First of all, 
Since programmable switches do not have infinite amount of memory, the task queue is actually a circular queue. It has a retrieve pointer and an add pointer. When we are trying to add tasks to the queue, we will just add it to the wherever the add pointer is and we will increment it. And when we try to retrieve tasks from the queue, we will just pop wherever the retrieve pointer is pointing at and then we will increment it. But even this simple design is complicated to implement in programmable switches. To show you why, let's see this simple example. This is tr us trying to implement the retrieving tasks from the queue. The first thing is we need to read the retrieve pointer to know where it is pointing at. And then, if it's pointing to a valid task, like in this case, we will pop that task and increment the retrieve pointer. And we can keep doing this. If, like in this case, it's pointing to an invalid task, it means that the queue is empty. But even this simple design violates, violates the one access per memory unit rule in the switch. Because we access the retrieve pointer twice. The first time is to read it and know where it is pointing at. And the second time is to increment it if it was pointing to a valid task. And a similar problem will happen when we try to implement adding tasks to the queue. The way we solve this in Falcon is, the first thing, we extended the pointer. And instead of it being just as an index, we added a round number. And every time the pointer makes a full circulation, we will increment that round number. This shows a pseudocode of retrieving tasks from the switch in Falcon. The first thing we did is, we did this atomic operation which is read and increment. So we read and incremented the retrieve pointer, and if it was pointing to a valid task, we will just pop that task. And if it's not, meaning that the queue is empty, since it was an atomic operation of read and increment, we have already incremented the retrieve pointer, and the retrieve pointer needs fixing but we will deal with this later. This shows the pseudocode of adding tasks to the queue. Similarly, the first thing we read and incremented, but this time the add pointer, but we also read the retrieve pointer. Comparing these two pointers will give us the status of the queue. If the queue has space, we will just push that task to wherever the add pointer was pointing. However, if the queue is full and we have already incremented the add pointer, it needs fixing, so we will need to fix it. And also, as we mentioned sometimes in retrieve, the retrieve pointer needs fixing, so we will deal with this here. But now the question is, how can we fix the pointers without violating the one memory access rule? The way we did this is, we utilized a feature in the switch, which allows us to recirculate the packet back to the switch again. And this new circulated packet is acted as a new packet, which means that it does not violate the one access uh, per register um, rule. We implemented Falcon on barefoot token switch using P4 language. It took 10 ingress stages and 5 egress stages and around 1000 lines of code. The current queue size fits for 128k tasks. We compared Falcon against the state of the art centralized and distributed schedulers. But because of the time restrictions of this presentation, we will only show the results of us comparing Falcon against the state-of-the-art distributed scheduler, which is Sparrow. This figure shows the throughput, or in other words, the number of scheduling decisions a scheduler can make. And as you can see, Sparrow can make around half a million scheduling decisions per second. And Four instances of Sparrow can make around 2 millions of operation, uh, scheduling decisions per second. And this shows Falcon. And as you can see, Falcon can achieve 40 times more throughput than a single instance of Sparrow. And we just didn't have enough workers in the cluster to utilize the switch. But as you can imagine, the switch, uh, this, this line could grow even much higher than this, and it can perform m way much more than 20 millions of scheduling decisions per second. So in the end, Falcon is a centralized scheduler that offloads scheduling to the network, which improves scalability and lowers scheduling overhead. It achieves an order of magnitude lower latency than the current state-of-the-art low overhead schedulers. So the main takeaway here is, Despite their limitations, programmable switches can be leveraged in order to accelerate complex system protocols. Thank you.